you know, how do you feel about the, the future of things which are kind of expensive, uh, like data science um, our team that you have at, uh, at the New York Times? Are you properly resourced? Is the future bright? Is there a strong editorial commitment to generating this data? I know I benefited a lot from uh, the New York Times COVID database in the early days of COVID. I was really, was really appreciative of being able to see that. So what's the future in terms of the commitment to the, the kind of work you're doing there? Yeah, so the COVID database is a good example. That was extremely laborious. That, many, many people were involved in that, both inside the building and outside the building, to um, have that process uh, working. Um, the New York Times in general benefits from a scale. Right? It, it, it operates at a scale that's larger than uh, most companies operate. There are many challenges to journalism right now, uh, some about business and some about trust. So the one that's been identified well for the last 15 years is that the craft of journalism has been intimately associated with the business of newspapering. The business of newspapering, newspapering has been fed by the ad model, and the ad model has been completely disrupted by digital advertising and information platforms that um, take far and away the lion's share of new digital advertising revenue. So um, the lifeblood of newspapers and magazines has, has really dried up in the last 25 years. So I'm optimistic about the fact that people keep doing journalism and they keep experimenting with new business models. I would say at the New York Times, it's been pretty well documented for a long time that part of the future bet is to transition from an ad model to a subscription model, and in particular to a digital subscription model. That seems to be going well. Um, for more local newspapers, it's still unclear what is the right business model that's going to ensure that we have a repeatable, scalable business model for local news. And lots of local news properties are experimenting with a variety of potential revenue sources. Sponsorship. Um, advertising, subscription, events, all, all sorts of different models are being explored. Um, in the large, I'm, I'm optimistic because I think journalism is important and I, I think people will find a way. Um, it's still unclear what is going to be the model that's going to work well. A at the times, I would say things are, are certainly much more well-resourced than at most journalism properties. So there's, a, uh, I think, a continued commitment to telling the truth, and also being creative about the narrative style, including data journalism. Many of the things that we're working on, I should be clear, uh, are not newsroom facing, they're also business facing. So there's so many opportunities to develop and deploy machine learning for uh, decisions about the paywall or for innovating on advertising in a way that can be privacy preserving or um, building better recommendation engines, these things that are um, outside the question of whether a company can support a computer-assisted reporting team or a data journalism team, which fortunately the New York Times has scale, it can support both of those as well as you know, data visualization even in the opinion group, which is sort of separate from the newsroom team. So New York Times op operates at a scale where we're able to support all of those things. As to whether different um, companies can do that, given that most of those journalism companies are operating at smaller scales, that's more difficult. Um, I'm hopeful, although I don't have, I'm, it's not something that I'm spending my time on directly, but I'm hopeful that um, companies will be able to create extremely affordable, perhaps open source solutions that allow local journalism properties to, to do some of this at scale, including subscription models, advertising models, recommendation engines. Like It should be possible for small, good faith journalism companies, including local journalism companies, to be able to do this for much less um, spend 